Cheers, and welcome back to Cooking with Mo Wino. Tonight's uh, dinner is a French themed dinner, so I am pulling out of the recipe file a dish that I made years ago for a French dinner party. First of all, I guess I should say cheers, even though I do that officially. And uh, I thought we would do it again. Uh, the radishes look beautiful in the farmer's market, and celery is always tasty and plentiful. So this is my radishes and celery en blanc. It's a very simple dish. It's lovely with uh, grilled chicken or grilled shrimp or any kind of grilled meal. However, we're going to accompany it tonight with a chicken cordon bleu. So we are going all Frenchy tonight with barone and radishes and celery en blanc. Join me in the kitchen. So we have a very simple dish here tonight. Uh, one pot, four ingredients, and you really can't go wrong with this. So I've just now melted uh, some butter, uh, unsalted butter, two tablespoons. And we are just going to add our equal parts, so you can decide on how much you need. But this is a cup of sliced radishes and a cup of sliced celery. Again, it doesn't matter how much, as long as it's equal uh, ratio one to so one. We are just going to saute this lightly in this butter, which always makes everything delicious, as you know. The other ingredient that you did not see white pepper. And because it always comes out fast, I always put it in my cap first, and now I'm just gonna share the love of one teaspoon. A little goes a long way with white pepper, so take it easy. Okay, so our radishes and celery have been sauteing over medium heat for five minutes. And now we are just going to put the finishing touches on. Uh, I have ground up all of the celery leaves from the stalk. I really don't know why people throw these uh, celery leaves out. They have so much flavor in them. And I just decided to use them all. So this is probably more than normal I would put in. Usually I would put in probably about a tablespoon, but this looks like we've got at least three tablespoons here. cup of white wine, but I am actually going to test this out and only use half of it. And I'm going to turn our flame down to medium low and let all of our veggies enjoy their wine bath, as I like to say. And we're just going to simmer that you want to make sure you keep a bubble going, but I'm going to go a little too low. And if it gets, if it looks like it's not happening, I'm going to move it back up to medium low. But there you have it. In five more minutes, these vegetables will be completely uh, soft, and we will then put them to the side and work on the next course of our French evening tonight. Cheers. Live life. Taste life, my friends.